Welcome to our new learning session, totally dedicated to a series of books written by Laura Nomaroff. All the books feature the premise that a cascading set of events can happen if you give one of these animals something to eat. The books are absolutely adorable. They're each paired with activities that I'm sure will delight your little one. But before we talk about the activities, let's talk a little bit about the books. One of the skills that our age group is learning is how to sequence events. For example, when putting on their clothes, they should start with their underwear and then add a shirt and then add pants and then put on their shoes. That's called creating a logical sequence. These books create logical sequences which are humorous but logical. So when you're watching the video, it's fun to guess what they think will happen when this pig gets the syrup that she wants. You can do this by actually pausing the video and talking to the child in between the pages. So what do you think is going to happen if we give this pig the syrup? Probably the same thing that would happen if you gave a bottle of syrup to your, your child. They're going to get sticky. Learning this Sequencing is actually a higher brain function that children are actively working on during their preschool years. They will get better at this school as they practice using it. So if you can offer opportunities to do multi-part instructions, and this is an example of one, can you get your jacket and your backpack and meet me at the door? Those were three instructions. These opportunities will give them practice using the skills that they'll need at school. The activities this week are paired with the books um, that are presented. Some are just for the mouse, which is the ones we're going to review now, and there'll be others that are just for the pig and those for the moose. The children did so well in our last session using their hands, we decided it would be fun to do some more work with our hands. And our first activity is to make a mouse, a 3D mouse. With your help, they're going to attempt to do some precision painting and gluing. And then the second activity is a cutting activity where they actually get to cut hair. Don't worry, <laughs> it's not real hair, not doll hair, just toilet paper rolls. Um, and then using clip cards, we're going to introduce the skill of squeezing by opening and closing clothespins while reinforcing numeracy concepts. We also have some practice using a writing instrument and finally a sorting by attribute game which can actually be played in a number of ways. Three, in fact. For our next book, if you give a pig a pancake, we're going to do some pretend cooking and some real cooking of pancakes. In the pretend cooking, the child will fashion pancakes made out of Play-Doh using a rolling pin and practice flipping them with a pretend spatula. Next, you and your little helper are going to actually make real pancakes. The little one will help you make the batter, but it's gonna be all you for the cooking and flipping of pancakes. This should make a lovely breakfast meal for your family. But remember what happened to the pig when she was given a bottle of syrup. I think out of the series, this book, If You Can Give a Moose a Muffin, tickled me more than the others. I don't know if it was because the moose was so large and um, with all the things that were happening, it made it more ridiculous and the overall effect just had me laughing and laughing. My favorite scene is where the moose decides to put on a puppet show and makes some puppets. You can see the moose puppet and the mouse puppet. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe we could make some puppets. So you can have some puppet shows at your house. So our activities for this last book are all related to puppet play. You and your child will make a mouse sock puppet and then your child will make the scenery for the puppet show on cardboard. We're going to try it by doing a little vertical painting or coloring, which actually uses different muscles than writing. 
um, ones that are actually used to control things more um, and also provide some a different perspective in their creations instead of looking down on something they're going to look straight ahead um, I can't wait to hear about what your puppets end up doing in your show I'm really excited for you and your child to explore these th three great books out of a very long series and the activities associated with them. I hope you have a really good time.